Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Be Alright by Dean Lewis. We're going to put the capo at the first fret on the ook. That'll put me right in the key that I need to be for the piano. Alright? So uh, the verse is the G minor to an E flat to a B flat to an F. We're strumming them each just once. Repeat G minor, E flat, B flat to the F, and then E flat, G minor, F, F again, E flat to G minor, and then F, and then his friend said, so that's the, uh, that's the whole verse to the song, okay? And uh, the rest of the song is ridiculously simple, so, all right, so a G minor, first string, first fret, third string, second, second string, third fret. If you're not used to using a capo on the, uh, on the ukulele, it's, uh, it's a, when I'm talking about the first fret, it's actually the second fret, because the first fret's covered up by the uh, capo, so don't get confused by that. All right, my next chord is an E flat. I'm actually gonna leave these two fingers right where they are and just move my middle finger up to the third string, third fret. Okay, so it ends up being open fourth, uh, third string third, second string third, and first string first. That's my E flat. That's very simple. Then my B flat chord, I'm going to bar the top two strings at the first fret. Third string second fret, fourth string third fret. That's my B flat. My F chord is second string first fret, fourth string second fret. That's my F. And those are all the chords you're going to need for the whole song. Okay? So for the verse, it's G minor. Um, I look up from the ground and I see your sad eyes, sad and teary eyes, and you look away, and there's something there you're trying to hide. So that's the, that's the verse part, okay? So he comes right in singing, G minor, E flat, B flat, to an F, and then he repeats it. G minor, E flat, just hit them each once, B flat, and then F. Now you might want to create a little bit more energy, so I'm going to go to an E flat four times, G minor four times, F all down strokes, eight times on the F, four on the E flat again, four on the G minor again, the F again, except, and his friend said, so the F we're going to hit for a measure, uh, four plus one is five, and you stop, and then his friend said, and then this is the chorus, G minor, to the E flat, to the B flat, to the F, and you repeat it. G minor, to E flat, B flat, to an F, and that's the chorus. So what I did there is, um, it's the same chords as the very beginning of the song, it's just that my strum pattern changes. I, uh, you know, I, t I paused a little bit when he said, and his friends said, you know you love her, but it's over, mate. Uh, something about put your phone away. <laughs> so that's G minor to E flat to a B flat to an F. And you just do that pattern twice. Okay? At this point in the song, the verse comes back again, just the way we played it. And then the chorus comes back, except it's two times in a row instead of just uh, one time. So don't be confused. One chorus is you repeat that pattern twice, so two choruses you repeat it four times. All right, hopefully that makes sense to you. I know it's confusing me. All right, and then the bridge comes in, and it's the same chords except you just hit them once. This is the part, um, nothing heals the past like time. It's the same chord, so it's a G minor to an E flat to a B flat to an F, but you just hit them once, and you do that four times in a row. Halfway through, if you get bored, you could create more energy by just doing four downs on each chord, like that. That will make sense, I think. I don't know the song that well. <laughs> could maybe hit that F once and pause, and his friend said, because now you're going back to the chorus again. So that's the, uh, the, you know, the, the catchy part of the song. So you could think like you just ride that out for the rest of the song, really. 
um, because you do the chorus and then the chorus again and then the outro is just G minor to the E flat again to the B flat to the F G minor to the E flat to the B flat and the F so it's just like a chorus except you end the song on the G minor chord so that's why I made it an outro um, but it's it's the same as a chorus and um, so that's all there is to it. I wish it was more. There's not. It's not that complicated. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so it's a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, chorus, bridge, chorus, chorus, outro, which is just a chorus, and then end on a G minor. Okay. Uh, questions and comments and suggestions and all that stuff and all that down below. And uh, please hit like. Hey, please subscribe. I only got 10 subscribers this week. What's going on? Where are you people? All right. Thank you to all my subscribers, though. And play more. Ooh.